Hey, what is up guys? Shadow Steel here. Welcome to Railworks Sundays. So, today we're on the West Somerset Railway as S160 back out on the, on a little run. Now, I've used I've run the S160 before. I've actually done on quite a I've actually run, I think, two scenarios by now on the S-160s themselves. But as a whole, I haven't done too much with them. Now, on 4th of July, I submitted a trackside special that featured cars from the S-160 pack uh, on a run from on the Sacramento Northern. Other than that, I haven't had much in the way of like um, actual content per se. Oof. All right, that didn't take long to load. All right. So, huh. So we are S165-5802, Big Jim. That's what no. All right. Sunday, August 7th, 2016. Day two of the Western West... Somerset Railway's S160 Gala, and the inevitable has happened. As quite common with running preserved trains, we have suffered a failed locomotive. British Railway's S160 92138 has broken down just east of Dart Dartford Hall. We are prepared for this event, and S160 5820 is standing by at Washford Yard ready to assist. You'll be collecting the train and completing the timetable and dropping off the failed locomo locomotive at Wilton. Begin by reversing by reversing onto the main line then drive towards drive forward to collect the stranded train. Get this done quick. like post down the line here to pass the junction. Keep the brakes on a little bit for this downhill journey. So this is actually pretty interesting as an S160, or as an American rail fan, just to see these uh, locomotives in action. Uh, go ahead and double check the um, pull level here. We're good for now. Those, there goes the safeties. That's how it goes. Ugh, I gotta move off camera a little bit and then back in the camera. We're going downhill the entire time here.
so the map is of the actual West Somerset Railway, so that's definitely going to be very interesting to see. I'll uh, put some more coal in there, even though our safeties are going off. There we go. So, we've got a, um, so the S160 here, Big Jim, as it's often referred to, is actually an actual S160 in service on, um, North Yorkshire Moors Railway, actually. The locomotive is currently owned and operated there, at least I think, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me on that, but I know that this particular locomotive number is still in service along one of the various heritage lines uh, on the, um, on the, uh, what's it, the, um, oh damn it, <laughs> uh, never mind, it's, um, one of the, um, locomotives that runs on the heritage lines, preserved thing, I don't know, <laughs> got that running. I'll just open up the cylinder cockpit so I can actually have some steam escaping and other forms. Oh, crossing. <laughs> Doing quite well right now. So, our first stop will be at 23, so we probably wouldn't be too far off if we could keep this up. I've run this scenario a few times, so I've been getting some practice on, on it. Get some little action for you at home. Oh, that was the way. <laughs> we actually started passing a crossing at that point. Follow my good old little one. Okay, I got that door open, window open. Safety's again. Oh crap! There we go. <laughs> Didn't see that. Gotta pay attention to the speed there. Doing quite well on time. Oh boy, we're slowing down quite a bit. There's a lake right up ahead on the northern end, I think. I think that's a lake. We're doing quite well.
Hmm. Oops, there we go. Hey, I'm not speeding anymore. I keep nudging the feet too high. Back into a small village here. Uh, 18, if I can get one more, I'd be fine with negative points. Whoa, that was a huge shot there. Alright, I'm low close down here. Oh. The failed train is about half a mile ahead. Approach it slowly and, and couple to it gently. There are four coaches full of gala reserves. It again. Yep, slow it down. All right, I'll just move ahead here. So we're expected to be there at twenty. Hmm, interesting. So far, nothing out of the ordinary in regards to just the amount of time we're taking. In fact, we're actually ahead of schedule because the next station right up there is expected to be at 23. We're already at 1420. And we're actually getting quite ahead of schedule and we're going a little fast. <laughs> I just need a coaster up. Okay, maybe need to start applying brakes even more. Okay, release. All right, so there's our train. Oh shit. I think I derailed. I think I might have derailed the train there. I saw the car bounce. That's the first time I've actually done that. Alright, we need to put water in the boiler now. Okay, slow her down now. I love the route. I love the idea of these scenarios. After all, some of these S160s still exist today. But the idea of like doing a timetable scenario while trying to keep keep your train up to speed and everything, it's just not, you know, what something I would really recommend for beginners. This is something for very difficult. Like this is very hard to do. 
right off the bat, and it takes quite a bit of practice to do. See, like I'm already about to run this car off the platform. Got enough water in the boiler there. Okay, so this car's off the platform, the other cars are on the platform. So this is on time. So I've lost 50 points out of a thousand. Not good, but it's something that I can live with. Release the brakes a little bit. I'll keep them at 15. So my time of arrival was 23. We are at 22.42. So then we need to drop this locomotive off over at the junction there. And from there, we're just going to loop the train around and stuff. Yeah, four stops. Okay, timeliness bonus. All right, we are ready to go. We're still going down grade, so I don't need to worry too much yet. All right, we're on the move. Distant signal says we're clear. All right, we're clear of that speed limit, so we're now got a 25 mile hour limit. Our next major station stop will be at. Uh, 35. Just need to be careful. Right, I'm going to put some more fire in the firebox and a little bit more water in there. Cut down on the regulator a bit. Actually release the brakes a little bit. That way we can get some more steam speed up. Essentially, we're going downhill. I have no idea why there's two audio echoes or something like that, but it, apparently there is. Alright, so let's cut the throttle off now for the coast a bit. No need to really tab yet. Alright, water's enough. You could put the reverser on its sort of reverse setting there. This will kind of help us slow down a little bit. without having to rely on the brakes all the time. <laughs> and that's what I want to do, is not rely on the brakes too much because they take too much time to charge. There we go, 10 miles an hour. Tab. There we go, tab. So essentially, we're just dropping this train off in the shed there have them fix it there. Actually this is not an uncommon occurrence. We've actually there is actually footage of a West Somerset train breaking down in the middle of a station platform which led to the crews having to use the opposite track just to get trains around it. And then it, the, I think it was what happened was is that the brakes on the locomotive literally just locked up. Like the vacuum uh, pump I think broke initially. And um, what happened was that locomotive in particular just, um, just, uh, okay. Now we need to continue the timetable service, reverse out of the yard, uh, past the points, and then push the train 
push the coaches into the wilted up platform where you need to uncouple from them. Okay. okay. Release the brakes. Start moving as soon as possible. Okay, we got enough pull in there. Whoop! Almost over sped there. Alright. So we're doing good now. All we gotta do is reverse out of the platform or the signal junction, stuff like that. Wait for the switches to realign. Which, to be honest, wouldn't be that hard. Because if we get past that point there. I'm going to put the reverse on forwards. Again, this one's actually kind of interesting because it actually helps a lot. Alright. It's just uh, like shoving it all the way open and reversing like this. That's how you did it in the 1800s. That's how we do it. So 29 is our position. It might not be good just yet. Like in regards to how to work this. And get ready with the brakes. All I gotta do is keep an eye on the um, back of the train if it actually um, manages to get into the platform. Oops. I don't know what that audio bug is though. There we go. Release it just a little bit. Running. Alright. Uh, probably don't need to put the handbrakes on those cars. We're on a... And again. Uh, never mind. I'm sure they'll be fine. Nothing bad has ever happened to a train that doesn't have its handbrakes on a hill. I mean, honestly, what's the worst that can happen? Essentially, this is what I'm doing. It's that I'm not using my brakes as much as possible. It's just not something you normally do in operation. <laughs> it's not normally something you do. Also, it's not a point-oriented objective, so... All right. Uh. All right, here we go. Let's need to hurry up. Oop. Uh, no tabbing out of that signal. I gotta keep this up so I can actually keep an eye on it. Uh, 
I might be doing this all. Oh, fuck me. That goes a good chunk of my points. Doing a lot better than it was last time, though. I'll admit that. I may have a uh, routine down for this. Once again, I probably failed that objective, but oh well. Ah! Damn it. Yeah, backwards. <clears throat> All right. It seems I did it. Okay, so we go. Gotta uh, uh, fiddle with that as much as possible, actually. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. Right on time. Alright, put this forward. Put some water in the boiler, put some coal in the fire. So we're doing okay. But unfortunately, we probably won't get the best points. Pull the fire. Up, up. Yeah, we're good. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and go to the passenger view. Go through the various cars. Uh, there's only one car visible. Ah, fuck. <laughs> All right. How many views is there? Just one. Okay. All right. Uh, now continue to. Slog Gumber, you do to arrive there at four two forty five. Hey, there's a couple of fat. Oh, dear God, the what is wrong with his chest? All right, there's enough water. It's got a couch cushion. Oh, dear God, did they come up with any worse animations there? Here we go. Enjoying the passenger view? Okay. But remember, right, the next journey is uphill. You don't need to worry about brakes. Right on the map. You saw the um You saw the amount of um just goofy turning and stuff I had to do. Time. Is 
beiden Ballen ist wieder drin. Oh, look at this bounce around a bit. Actually bouncing around here. What? Had this much vibration on Lord's mother before. All right, so I guess start putting some water in there to help cool down the boiler a bit. Didn't take it to Okay, we're doing great. Oh, well. Is that a bridge? Yeah, that was a bridge. Uh, hopefully that's not doing too badly on the audio. I'll turn it down just in case. Doing quite well. We expect to be there at 2, 44, 16. Not bad. Not at all. That is not wrong. Keep an eye on the speed, I can't see it. That's a 25.6 miles an hour. Oh! Damn! There's a speed up quite a bit there. We lost 20 points there. Hmm. So that's over 100 points lost, but oh well. Oh, I was on a flat gradient there. <laughs> oh. locomotive bumping. Nope. Oh, that's a uh, standard version. Okay, I'm going to go. That safety valve is starting to get annoying. What? Where's my dog hoodie? Got a mile in. Okay. Not doing too bad. Stretch my ear. Alright. How's the audio doing? I'm doing okay. Audio wise. Just want to make sure I'm doing a decent audio job. Last time I recorded this, or attempted to record this, I noticed that the audio was just all over the place. It was just, uh, I was going, the audio for the locomotive was too loud, and then, or the game was too loud, and then just all that. There's our station up ahead. This time I'm gonna probably free charge the brakes a little bit just so we can have a um, good stopping mechanism for when we get over there. So we're at 16.8. Okay. 
Uh, that's the brake pressure I was labeling too. Turn it down a little bit. Get the tumbler cock. Let's have the throttle wide open. Look at all that smoke. Smoke and steam. I'm assuming that they don't have that open all the time. Just shut it off. I mean, we're still pretty early, so I can actually kind of close in if I need to. But I don't want to risk losing the timetable and losing a lot of points. I think that helps alleviate steam pressure, I don't know. I want to say it does, but it's just something I think in my head, probably. There's nothing but farmland on, on here, too, by, on the map wise. Ugh. Okay. I have no idea what that is, but okay. One of my friends seem like popped up right as I played. As I um, he says, well, watch, oh, no, something with Chaos Child. I have no idea what that is. Oh, okay, open up the bottle. Oh, we're running low on water, too. I can see that. We're really pushing the low water. Right? Oh, that's just fine. Alright, we'll just slowly come in. Probably gonna need to have this all the way up. Open up the brakes a little bit more. Close them. Open them. Close them. There we go. Oh, look at the milk cans. That's cool. I remember those when I was little. All right, there we go. We're actually on time. Like, exactly at the minute. Nice. Huh. Um, what I'm going to do is kind of let go on the brakes a little bit. That way we don't have to worry about it, um, you know, having problems later on. I'm going to shut down water there for a little bit because we're going to need steam as much as possible. All right, there we go. So we've already surpassed the amount of points we had last time, so. There we go. Off we go. For some reason it's saying 50, 52! This thing was going to be about a minute, a full minute early. Regulate or reverse her down a bit. And I think we're good. Alright. We're doing quite well this time around. So then again, I say that, and you guys have not ever seen the last episode, the last version of this episode. <laughs> Keep it steady. So our next destination is 2.6 miles. Or 2.46. Jesus Christ, I can't read. Oh, god damn it. There we go again. Come on. 
Ich hier nicht gekommen. Wie ist Fire doing? There's all the river fish. I can shut that down. Cut the throttle off. I'm really bouncing around. I don't know why. Doing quite well now. I'm gonna put some water in there. Oh, damn it! There we go again. <laughs> I just don't know the my own power, the power of my own locomotive. Oh boy. <laughs> Put some water in there as much as possible. Alright. I gotta put some of this high speed that helps alleviate steam pressure. I guess not. Uh, technically, I feel this is kind of photogenic too. Just a cloud of steam coming out the top and steam coming out the bottom. We're already a mile away. Okay. Careful time. It's rather unfortunate that there is no real um, point. There is no real whistle point there. Ow, I can't. I got a headache all of a sudden. <laughs> We're already approaching our destination. We've got less than a mile to go now. So I guess it was right. We're already on schedule. So we're going to be transferring over to a 15 minute track. Maybe 20 to 15, I think. Okay, so I want to slow it down to about 10 miles an hour. Whew! Good whistle. One of those amazing little trips. We're doing quite well. Start slowing down a little bit. Oh, oh I did see that there. Oh. Okay, we're now expected to be there at 53. This is good. All right. We're doing well. We're doing well. Distant signal means we're clear.
case is going off again. Water can be put in the boiler a little bit to help with alleviate the steam pressure and turn that off. Let it kind of slow down to 15 and then up, open up the throttle a little bit. Stop this one to be there. I want to get a shot of that though. Kind of mar. I have no idea what that local that railroad is, but so, uh. Slowly ease it into the platform, boys. Slowly ease it in. Alright. Also, yeah. start applying more brakes. Why did I press R? I'm not reloading. What is that? Huh. For a second it looked like a good flagon. Bye! Bye, have a great day! <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Did quite well this time around. I don't know what kind of level I got, but it wasn't gold. It wasn't gold. Also, these markings don't seem to be, you know, right. Why warning for overhead wires when these locomotives, even in preserved states, don't run on the main line. I also like the car, the fact that the car has. West Somerset Railway on them. All right. Due to time to caused by the failed locomotive, held here waiting for. Not gonna pronounce that. Not gonna bother. Well done, keeping the galleys traffic moving. Okay, now I finally just finished reach, and there we go. So, oh, I got silver this time. Nice. Yeah, I got bronze last time, and now I got silver. Okay. If I kept kept from speeding and then slamming into the damn cars. I probably would have gotten a good chunk of points, but what does that mean? What does front back mean? Whatever. <laughs> anyway, like and comment down below, guys. Subscribe if you guys want more, and I will see you guys in the next videos. The next video, darn it.